Hi there, it's Nicole here today with some oversized see-through snowman gift tags. A couple of years ago, I created the see-through style of Christmas gift tags part of my handmade holiday series. And since then, I've kind of been um, drawn to see-through type of designs and trying to find new ways to create see-through type tags because I think they're a really fun, very easy interactive element. Um, just because of the fact that you can see through them and they're so, so much fun. To save some time, I did a lot of my die cutting off of camera and I am gonna be creating some tags here with my favorite oversized tag. For several years, this has been my favorite. It's the Mama Elephant Tags A Lot. It is not new. The big tag that I have die cut here from some clear plastic is from this stamp set or die collection rather, but there's some smaller tags as well. In fact, the next biggest one is what I use for spinner tags a lot. It's a great basic tag die collection. There are four different tag sizes, three different hole reinforcers, and a banner. So it's a really great tag set if you like to make tags like I like to make tags. Also, I, have, I am using sentiments from the Surprise Sentiments stamp set. This is not new either. Um, I'm mixing a little old and new here with my tags. The die cut elements are from the Mama Elephant Snow Deer Favor Bag add-on die collection. So these are made to work on the favor bags. However, I like to find ways to use them for things other than the favor bags just to show the versatility. I did a trifold card a few weeks ago where I did snowmen along the bottom. I'm drawn to the snowmen. You can make snowmen, reindeer, um, if you have the Santa elf, favor bag add-on, you can make Santas and Elves, um, probably lots of other things. I am using components from the Santa Elf with my Snow Deer, but I tend to really be drawn to snowmen. I like snowmen, I have a lot of them as ornaments and other decorations for the holidays. So I decided to kind of go with what where my heart led me. I've die cut the elements from cardstock. Everything is plain cardstock there. And I'm using some Spun Sugar Distress ink to ink up the cheeks, but I'm using a Dauber Duo because it's about the right size. The tags I've all die cut, like I mentioned, from clear plastic. It's a little bit sturdier clear plastic. Um, you can use whatever you have on hand. And then I am stamping on these with cotton white stays on ink using sentiments from that surprise sentiment stamp set. Every greeting I am using for my tags, whether it be the front or back, is from surprise sentiments. And I've mixed up the sentiments. I'm using a little gift on each of those. And then underneath, one of them is gonna say, sure to make you smile. One will say no peeking. And the last one will say, you'll, which is Y-U-L-E, love it, which is a great Christmas kind of way to add that greeting. This stamp set is not necessarily Christmas, but it definitely works for that. And then it has a to from greeting that I'll be using on the back. To get the cotton white or any stays on ink off of your stamps, I like a stays on cleaner, and then I scrub it with a Hero Arts scrubber pad. And then I usually wipe it dry with a stamp chamois or a wet wipe or something like that to get that cleaner off of it. But that is how you keep your stamps nice and clean after stays on ink because the stays on ink is specially formulated to be stamped on non-porous surfaces like plastic or other things. Um, and if you want to use that, you have to use that kind of ink for um, a clear type of card or tag but it's very, very difficult to get off. And so what I'd like to do is use that stays on cleaner and then just make sure I get that cleaner all off of my stamps. After I stamped my sentiments, I really felt like I needed just a little something else. The majority of what's going on on the tag is gonna be that big die cut along the bottom edge. So in order to dress up the greeting a little more and something that will look as nice on the back as on the front, because anything that's stamped on the clear part is gonna see through, I thought Holly's Snowflake images from the Holly's Snowflake stamp set 
would be awesome. I really like that you can see my reflection, haha, -ha, just kidding, <laughs> in the plastic tags. Um, I didn't even notice that till now, but these snowflakes, there's tons of different sizes here. And so I kind of picked more on the smaller scale to frame up my sentiment or my greeting. And you can see, even when I use the stamp cleaner and then scrub it off, there's still some residue and I'm just kind of wiping that up and off. And I'll take a chamois and wipe those a little bit better or a wet uh, baby wipe or something like that. And then I like to clean my acrylic block to make sure all that cleaner gets off or any ink residue, things like that. So Holly Snowflake is one from this year's release. Um, and so are the Snow Deer and Santa Elf die collections. Everything else I'm using was previously released and they work together so well. So we'll just stamp a few more snowflakes. There's six snowflakes per tag. And they really add a lot to the design. Then we're ready to start putting together the adorable little snowman and building that die cut paper pieced image. So I've already adhered the carrot nose and the eyes to my snowman. And I want it to slightly hang off of the edge. We will trim that up. Now I went ahead and adhered the front and back and then trimmed it, which made it a little hard. So when I put the remaining two tags together, I'm gonna to show you a little easier way and that's just trimming each section as you add them. I also glued the top hat with the Ranger multi matte medium and my bottle is getting kind of empty. I really need to get a new one because it's a little hard to squeeze some of that adhesive out. But on my final two tags, I used different adhesives. I did not use a liquid adhesive and it helps because my hat pieces kept wanting to move around. It, the glue will dry, but it's gonna take a little bit to dry. Um, in fact, this sat overnight to completely air dry just because I was done for the day and I left and I came back and did the two other tags the next day. So I think I would really recommend using glue dots or another dry adhesive rather than a liquid adhesive. Here is that to and from that goes on the back, which really finishes it off nicely. It's the perfect little place to add that and really helps reinforce that it is a tag. Here is where that Ranger multi matte medium did not work very well because it just keeps moving around. Every time I dropped the tag or bumped it or jostled it, it just, the, the glue would move because the plastic is so slick. So I would really recommend probably using a different adhesive. Once I've trimmed up the bottom, I am gonna add his little bow tie here. And that really finishes off the tag portion. We are, I'm going to do all of the tag reinforcers and all of that in a little bit after I've done the final two tags. I am gonna take glossy accents and go over the eyes and the nose. It's such a small thing, but it adds a huge difference to the finished tag. It makes both the eyes and the nose nice and shiny with a slight raised look, perfect. So I'll just set this aside to completely dry while I work on the final two tags. I'm gonna speed through this because it's very much the same thing. It's just assembling each snowman. For this particular snowman, I took the Santa hat from the Santa Elf favor bag add-on die collection, and I'm gonna build a little stocking cap for this snowman. I'm also going to trim the snowman pieces one at a time. So I took those big tonic scissors from Tim Holtz, and they work perfectly because the shears are so long, and it cuts really nice inked up the cheeks on all of my snowmen with the sponge sugar ink and a dauber duo uh, or the little dauber sponge dauber rather that is just perfectly sized for pinkening little cheeks 
This little snowman is going to feature a mouth and the eyes and the carrot nose. My first one only had the eyes and the nose, but he had a little bow tie down near the bottom and I felt like the mouth and bow tie would be too close together. Once I have everything on the front, I'm gonna flip him over and add the backing piece. This hides all of the adhesive. Stamp the to and from, trim up the bottom of the tag, and then go ahead and put together, and I accidentally put the adhesive on the wrong side of my hat, so I had to die cut another piece. And you wanna just finish it off really nicely on the back. This hides any unsightly adhesive and it gives it a finished look so that if the tag spins around or whatever or you flip it the recipient flips it over to see you know who the gift is to it looks nice on the back as well and you don't see any of that adhesive glue dots on the bottom part of the largest hole reinforcer from the tags a lot die collection are going to secure it to each tag so you just kind of position it there Put those little glue dots on each side. Again, they're hidden because it flips over. We'll put the last one together. This is one of my favorite things to do is to add the reindeer ears to the snowman. I think it's kind of cute and funny. So again, gluing the eyes in place, the nose in place, adding the pink cheeks with the sponge dauber. This reindeer will also have a little mouth since there's nothing down near the bottom, I'm not adding the bow tie or anything down there. I liked the addition of the mouth. And I'm using some tweezers to help hold that. It really does help kind of keep fingers out of the glue. Trim up the bottom of that. Go ahead and place the backing on. Trim up that side and then I have cut four antlers all together. These are gonna be secured right there on the back side. Again, that hides the adhesive. I used glue dots to attach these. Glue the little hair bow in the snow woman reindeer. Glue the tag up, up at the top, again with glue dots. Add the to and from on the back of the last tag. And I think it would be fun to do, maybe do a set of Santa tags. You could do reindeer tags, maybe do all of the reindeer and Santa. I think that would be cute. Lots of great ways to do this. Something that I have rediscover, rediscovered recently is my eyelets that I've had for years and years. So I'm going ahead and adding white eyelets to the top of each of these tags. It really gives it a fantastic finished look and reinforces that hole really well. And I'm trying to decide what color of string. I, uh, I, try, I thought black, but I didn't like it. So I went ahead and just did some nice thin white crochet, crochet thread string through the top of each tag. And I will finish by adding glossy accents to the eyes and nose of the remaining two snowman tags, letting that dry all the way. And my oversized see-through snowman gift tags are all finished. Thanks for joining me today for these oversized see-through snowman gift tags featuring Mama Elephant stamps and dies. The supplies I used to create these tags are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Mama Elephant that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.